Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I got one more interesting problem statement, which is fit bit more on a smaller site, but it's a something which I was also not aware of the fact that it, it the feature is there, but uh, somehow I learned from one of the LinkedIn user had just posted that thing. So uh, let me uh, explain the problem. So let's say if you have a line chart and there you want to have a marker on with, let's say some kind of reference, even let's say year on year growth or something. Let's say, is there any growth in this uh, change of percentage, change of sale? These kind of things generally we highlight from the marker and what happens also, uh, this marker do not have any conditional format option. So let's say if I want to just highlight all the period where the sales has been uh, higher than 40,000, then please highlight into the green color and the rest into the red color. So let me recreate this thing. So I have created this particular chart here. If I go here and into the markers, if you see, uh, let me have the marker and the color, it's a square box. And this is the color size that I want to take. And let me do the color. So if you see, we have to select a color on a given, but we do not have any at such a conditional formatting option available here. Okay. And since we do not have any conditional formatting option, and even your client persists that, okay, let me, can you please do a, some kind of a conditional formatting based on some given condition? So what exactly? So I've just created a one measure just to show I have created a sales flag, which shows which shows the current sales. If it is greater than 40,000, then it's a flag and it's a no flag. It's right? just a nomenclature that you might differ also from this. So how you will proceed to this? First, you need to convert this line chart into your cluster column chart. Let me do this. I have the chart now. Then go to this uh, format option then the column then if you see here you have the conditional formatting option let's hit the fx function key here go to rule uh, type the required uh, measure name then is not get the condition and let me do this let me select the green option i'm just selecting at random as of now and this makes a red color, for example. If you have any specific color HX code, you can use that as well. If you see now, anything above 40K is highlighted. Anything below 40K, it's uh, being highlighted as red now. And if it works even here also, if you see any, everything is below 35K, if I just select two regions and it, uh, so like this, it works now, but we want a line chart and that to a marker. So what we can go and change the line chart. If you see it, now it's there. Earlier it was not there. Even if I go here now and select this color option, if you see here, we do not have any colors. Still it's showing me this thing, uh, single color. So this is how you can do the conditional formatting of a markers, which is uh, more or less still a limit for a Power BI, but this is how you can do a conditional formatting. Let's say if you want to create a uh, sure sales 2015 uh, January sales compared with versus 2016 January sales, and you want to show whether it's an upward or not. So even you can create this particular uh, tweak your a flag in such a way that, okay, if there is any percentage increase, then it's a green, if not. So there are so many options, which depends on your output for this particular measure. So I've just taken a simple measure where I want to highlight how you can do this thing. And based on your problem statement or business objective, you can convert this thing. So hope if you are able to follow this video till this point, please check out my other videos on my channel page where I have tried to solve different problems in simplest manner. If you like this video, please like the video, uh, hit the subscribe button and please do reach out to me. If you have any questions, I am on uh, thread top mate and Instagram. If you have any one-to-one -one queries, I am happy to resolve and connect. Uh, thank you so much. Follow for more power. We updates.